Hello and welcome back to I Have No Idea What I Am Doing. You may have noticed that Santa did bring me the microphone as promised. Um, it is very much in the way, but this seems to be the place where I get the best sound. So for the for the intro, I'm, I'm leaving it here, but I'm going to have to move it out of the way for the, for the actual dev part because this is where my keyboard goes. In today's episode, we will be looking at getters, we'll be looking at some props, and hopefully we'll be looking at a bit of testing as well, because this this app's really lacking some testing, um, which mm, puts me on edge a little bit. If you're new to the series, then please check out all the previous episodes in the playlist just up here. Or if you just want to follow along from here, then we can do that too. Everything is available in the repo, and I've tagged everything for each episode, so you can just check out the, the repo from episode three, and you can Pick up right where we left off. All right, that's enough chatter anyway. Let's get started. Okay, so very quick recap of where we were previously. We have a set of cards. Um, they are generated from a bit of data. Uh, we'd say what's written on the card, whether the card's face up or face down, and then we just render them to the page. Um, we can see all that in the card list component that we made and we just say for every card in the cards key it with a card ID if it's face up show the card text if it's not face up show cards against humanity now we actually are calling this devs against humanity so let's start there um, and we say there we go devs against humanity great now as I've said what I want to do today is I want to look at um, getters, props, um, and and just generally getting a bit more diverse data in here. So, in order to look at props, first I am going to create a variation on the white card called the well, the black card, um, and we are going to tell it whether it's a white or a black card based on a prop. Okay, so if I go into app dot view. We see we have two card, uh, not two card list, one card list. Um, and if I duplicate that, now we get a warning here. That's because, uh, as we found in a previous episode, we need exactly one element at the root, and we would have two if we were to do this. So we need to wrap that in. For now, uh, just a div is fine. And let's tidy that up a little. Okay, so this just renders the card list twice. So we've got our 10 cards, and then we've got our 10 cards again. Um, now let's pretend that we want uh, the car, second card list to be card type uh, oh, black. Um, I mean, it won't change anything yet because we need to pick up this prop. So if I go in here, um, props, 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 props. I think I can do it in here. And I can just do props, uh, which is an array. And card type, like so. Um, and for now, I'm just going to put a H1 in here that says black, and we put a V if equals card tonight. This is a good point. Yeah, there we go, that does work. Um, yeah, so notice how we, we camel case it here, but we hyphenate it here. That's because in JavaScript, uh, you can't write that because that is card minus type, which obviously doesn't work. So they just, they get mapped like this, um, card type to card type. So when you're writing the props on the thing, it's hyphenated. And when you're using the JavaScript, it's a camel case. Um, a little bit confusing, but uh, it's fairly standard for, for NVCs. So, uh, now that we know what we're pulling in the prop, we can get rid of that. And let's 
see. I mean, I could add, uh, I want to conditionally add a class of card black. Now, how do I do that? Uh, this is just Vue.js, this isn't Vuex. So I want to see class, class and style bindings. There we go, vbind class. So similar to how we did the key, if I do class, so if I have that, and I would have, um, card black like that. And I'm just, again, gonna quote that like so, which is determined by, uh, what did we say? Card type, I believe, is black. And just to test this dot card black and background red. See if that worked. There we go. So now the black cards have red backgrounds, um, which is not what we want. Obviously, we want um, them to have a black background and a, a white foreground, like that. So there's your black cards. Now, the downside of this, obviously, is we are rendering the same cards twice. Uh, they are exactly the same cards and for example if we go into the card store and we make the first one face up so we get eating people back it also is the same on, on both hands and that's because the card component is utilizing the same data for both um, now this this is why I was saying it was a little bit weird uh, that you were calling the, the cards directly from the cards list component. Uh, I do find that weird. Um, so I had I had a plan. I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I'm going to do it, and then people are going to tell me if I'm wrong, hopefully. So we'll, we'll, we'll go from there, and we'll see. Um, and my plan is simply this. If I take, uh, let's say, the first three, and I set these to deck, deck and deck um, obviously we still render them all I want to add in here where is it a getter that says only get me the cards that are in the hand or that are in the deck and I want to pass that in as a prop so if we have um, uh, location that'll do for now uh, location and then if I just echo out uh, let's just do it here location and I set this top one to hand and this one to deck then we should see hand 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 deck 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 so I am telling this card list where I want to get the cards from, whether I want to get them from the hand or whether I want to get them from the deck. Now, obviously, uh, this isn't loading everything in properly. It's just loading all of, the, all of the cards and just adding a word in front of them. So what I want to do is inside card list, I want to, let's add in uh, a getter. How do getters work again? Let's jump back in here. Okay, so there are two parts to getters, if I remember right. We want to create the getters inside the store, and we want to retrieve them getters from inside the component, which we can do here, or using map getters, which is probably better. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do this backwards because it's easier and just, map getters from here. I'll just 
So I am pulling in the getters directly into the card list before I've written them. Um, and this is just an array now. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Just an array and get cards. That'll do. Um, okay, so inside here we've got the state, and we want also the getters, which we can do here. Const getters equals. Now, how do our getters look? Yep, state getters. Um, I'll just I'll copy that because I'm lazy. Done to do's, doesn't want to be done to do's. Uh, let's just actually let's just call it cards in hand for now. Uh, state, state dot, actually it's just state dot. Ah, right, okay. Filter, right, I'll write this filter out. So we want to filter out all of the cards with card dot position equals and right now we'll probably oh, actually this wants to be cards in hand. I've done that wrong. I don't know why I did it like that. Right. One of my cards to cards in hand. Now th this will probably break because yeah it does, and that is because I am trying to call filter yeah on an object. State dot filter is not a function. Now filter is uh, an array uh, property that allows you to filter the array by saying okay for every card in uh, the state only return the ones where the card position equals hand and that's great and it, it works lovely but the problem we have is our state is not an array it is an object um, so what I'm going to do since this ID is already here I'm just going to make the whole thing an array and, and bin off this ID because we're not calling the cards directly just yet so as I said in the previous episode um, the, the data is, is going to change a lot as we move through and here's another one of them and once again with the power of editing we are now an array of objects rather than an object of objects so we should be able to see state.filter now works and it does it does which is good so we can see what do we include in the hand uh, da -da 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 -da. right so eating people onions and getting blasted in the face should not be included because they are not in the hand they are in the deck uh, so uh, the first one is face down which is annoying um, <laughs> everything is now the first one and then librarians and then going to bed which is everything librarians and going to bed so you can see that these three have been hidden because we have used the cards in hand getter. Now the problem we have here is that this needs to be dynamic. Um, and it, it's not, it, we've hard coded hand, we've so it, it's only showing everything in hand and we there's no way of us saying, um, give us all the, the cards in the deck. I mean, we, we can, we can duplicate this and say cards in deck, but eventually the position wants to be like player one's hand or player two's hand so it's going to be dynamic so we can't hard code all of them things it just wouldn't work so what we need to do is we need to get this from the props uh, inside card list so we can pass it down uh, in this case in app and pass down the hand or pass down the deck as a location and then in here we want to say get cards in and then and then where we're getting them from now i don't actually know how to do that i'm assuming there's a way because it'd be silly if not um and again i i may be coming at this completely the wrong way so please 
Please tell me if I am. Okay, so let's try the really naive approach here and just do cards in hand like that. Okay. Let's see what happens there. We're going to get all sorts of errors, but I want to see what the errors are. Cards in is not defined. Of course, cards in is not defined. Uh, I'm just going to close up view uh, cards in. Which oh. okay, this may not stay getters. <laughs> this is a complete guess. This this may not work. In fact, it, no, it doesn't at all. Cards in is not defined. I get rid of that and just do that. I wonder if it's because it's not as small as before. There's a string. Oh, of course. It's looking for this in this document rather than inside getters, which is, yeah, that makes sense. That's perfectly right. Can I be sneaky? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Um, right, so that's, that's not going to work at all. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Time, time to hit Google, I think. Um, right. So what am I doing? I want a dynamic getter in UX. That's UX. That is not what I'm after. Dynamic nested data. Need to get us with payload. I've already looked at this, it would seem. That's a weird opening to it. Oh, he's just not put anything other than the title. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, first time just get view X stores. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you for your proposal. I see any of some other little some arguments. So, yeah. Because we can achieve that by returning a function in getters. Okay. So instead of just. So in our getter, this is our working getter, we. this So this is ES6 syntax, which basically just means like function state like that. <coughs> if that. But. The way they've written it is they've got an extra thing there with type, which in our case will be location, which is now a function here that returns a function, which allows us to get that type. Uh, this one's probably simpler to look at because it's not using the other one. So state returns function which uses type and return state of product stuff so, okay let's see if that works how do I call that though where's this uh, he's done a live demo he reckons start up get this stuff I'll, I'll write it out like this 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 will work um, okay just to make this work, let's ignore map getters for now. Uh, let's just do normal computed and do this dot store dot getters. Dot, uh, what should I call it? Cards in hand, like that. Uh, cards. And that's the function. Oop. And then we return. Why is it doing that? That's what I want. Right.
adds in is not a function. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, have I not saved? Helps if you, helps if you save your files before you start trying to debug them. Uh, that appears to be working. Um, I am now getting everything in the hand as I was before, uh, which is good. I'm going to change that actually uh, inside here so that that doesn't say location, but card dot <coughs> position. Um, yeah, so now everything is coming from from the hand, but. The difference being, I am getting hand to set in here, so I could set that to deck. Uh, I could set that to deck. <sighs> oh, it's because I... Right, no. Location. I need to actually use this location. Does that still work? Yes, yes, right. So now I am getting the deck passed in dynamically, which is great. Um, so instead of actually explicitly setting hand or deck in there, in theory, I can do props. Do, uh, do I just do location? I'm not sure what I have access to here. Not location. Props dot location potentially. Nope. Uh, this dot props dot location. The, is it this dot dollar props? It's it's this dot dollar props. Right. Okay. Uh, that wasn't super obvious, but it's it, that's what it is. So what? Let's see if this works actually. So we asked in app.view for just the hand for the white cards and just the deck for the black cards. So hand for the white cards and just the deck for the black cards. So that, that's working. That's I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so one thing I've not done yet, which um, I often like to do much earlier on in the project, but I kind of want to, because I'm learning, I want to get a feel for things before I, I dive into this, and that is testing. Um, there is no testing on this at the moment. Um, and in theory, it should be relatively easy to test because everything's components and everything's um, state managed. So um, we, we should be able to get some, some unit tests in for uh, the certain functions at least. Now, there was a section on the documentation about testing that we completely skimmed over before. Um, let's, I'll just have a quick look. Um, testing mutations, we don't have any of them or any actions, but we do have getters, so we can start testing some getters. Uh, okay. So let's have a look at this example. Um, getters are getters. Uh, import the getters from the getters. Describe the getters for products. We mock the state, so we set the state to be whatever it is. Getters dot fill products state fill the character. Ah, okay. So that makes sense. Let's get rid of that and let's open up our store card store. Modules, right. So where normally we are pulling the getters and they're kind of tied into the state, uh, we can just export the getters as well. Uh, and then that allows us to import them getters into a test and we can pass in our own mocked state straight away um, like like this here, which is, is, is really nice. Um, so, uh, best way to do this, let's see. Um, I'll create a uh, tests directory. Do you want it in the root? Um, e yeah. That'll do. Um, I'm going to make uh, tests slash 
get as dot test dot js. Um, I'm just going to copy this entirely. Um, get rid of that. And get as dot test. Right. So I want to uh, maybe specs better. Uh, I want to import getters from not there. Um, store modules cards. Okay. <clears throat> Apologies if you're hearing some meow in here. I have teeny tiny kittens. Make noise like that. You done? Right, uh, where was I? Yes, we were testing the tests. So is there any reason why this wouldn't work? Cards, Jess. Right, I'm going to take the first three cards from my state uh -huh. uh, fill the category uh, I guess we can call it location equals hand we'll have deck hand deck uh, result equals getters dot uh, what did I call it cards in state low action location location okay Expect result to deep equal uh, not hand. And not hand. Wait. It is messed up here. Right, not a hand. There we go. Because uh, that must be deck. Let's just format that over. Oh, that's so much nicer. Right. So now we have a test that smocks the state. Uh, it sets the location to deck. And it sets a result to get the cards in getter. Passes it the uh, mocked, state, mocked state. And this location. This isn't how we... Uh, okay, so we call it slightly differently. We remember we we double function this, um, so that that we've got our test and that works. We just need a way of running our tests. One eternity later. Okay, so I'm going to cut a lot of that out because you're here to learn view, not Webpack. Um, I spent a long time trying to uh, configure the Webpack config to use the tests as well um, because we needed the the build I couldn't just run mocha straight on this because we we're doing imports here and it, it doesn't like it um, and then I found uh, I'll close the tab now but I found a, a package called mocha webpack which basically did all of the things that I needed it to do and all I need to do is call mocha webpack and then point it at the test, which is pretty nice. Um, so I saved that. If I go in my history, uh, yeah, yarn add um, Mocha and Mocha Webpack to the dev, uh, which then put it inside package.json. There we are, Mocha, Mocha Webpack. And then I created a test script, which just runs Mocha Webpack and then says uh, the tests are in 
tests slash getters.spec.js. Now this this will need globbing and, and changing later on, but for now we're just running the getters test. Um, and if we run this uh, with yarn test, we should see, hey, there we go, one test, one pass. Uh, it's still called filtered products because we have called it filtered products and it should be called it. Now, I like to write my tests a little bit more verbose than just saying filtered products. So I would say like it should um, filter the deck cards. So if we rerun the tests, boom, it should filter the deck cards and it does. Um, happy days. I mean, that, that, that's a test. That, that works pretty well. Um, we can certainly make the testing suite uh, a, little, a little bit nicer, but we're, we're currently testing, um, correctly testing the, uh, the getters, which is, is nice. Now, as we make changes to the cards JS or anything else, we can run the tests to make sure we're not breaking anything. Okay, so what do we do in this episode? Uh, what we did first, very simply, was we added a prop to the cards, which allow us to specify whether it is a white card or a black card. Um, now, you can see that inside view dev tools if we go on this card list. Um, so we've said the card type here is Oh, okay, so we get prop types as well, which is nice. Um, I'll look into them in a later episode. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but we said we have a card type of black, so it just renders the cards to, to be to be black, basically. Um, and then this card list here, you see there's two separate card lists. Uh, it is undefined, so we, we it's just a white card. Um, we could probably tidy that up. It's maybe a slightly contrived example, but it was it was just to show how to pull uh, props into um, into components. We then pulled in another prop, and that was the location prop. Uh, now this one was a little bit more useful, as we allowed to say, "Here's a card list, and, and we want all of the cards that are in the hand." And this one says, "We want all of the cards that are in the deck." Um, now, we used that on the data. Uh, if I can go to, is it this one for the stores? No, that's events. Stick right, there we go. So <clears throat> you see how we have all the cards, all 10 of them, and some of them are in the deck, and some of them are in the hand. Now, what we were able to do was say, for this card list, the black card list, I only want the ones that are in the deck. So it only shows these three here. And for the other card list, the the white card list, um, I only want the ones that are in the hand. So that's all of these cards here. And we did that using getters. Because we've had to do a slightly funky getter, um, our, our getters inside the view uh, dev tools doesn't really display all that well. It just says function, which is a bit of a shame, but we can dig into that inside the actual code here and if we go to um, cards js there we go so uh, it is now a function that returns a function so it allows us to pass in the location uh, separately and then this this getter is called inside the cards list by we say the cards in getter and then we pass in the location prop so that only gets the cards in the hand or the cards in the deck. Now, to make sure this works, we can go in here and we can say uh, all, yep, all the white cards look right, all the black cards look right, uh, or we can even go in here and say, okay, that's a card list of, of these three, and that is a card list of these, and they're all set to the hand, and that's all good. But that can get super annoying super quickly. And as we add more getters and, and more um, more things to the app, it, it gets a little bit hard to test manually and, and things it missed. So we have started adding our automated test suite, um, and we just check if it should filter the, the deck cards. 
we have a get a spec and we can mock the state really easily um, by just creating a new object and then and then passing that in. So as long as the tests are right and they pass, the app should work. Um, and we can we can run these tests very easily with the yarn test. You can say I run it here and it just it checks that they're working and that's all good. Okay, so in today's episode we looked at getters, we looked at testing and we looked at some props as well. Moving forward, we can now start to use this testing suite to do a little bit more test-driven development so we can write our tests for what we want to happen and then write the code to make that happen, uh, which is it's sometimes a little weird, but it, it's quite nice when it all pays off. Um, so that's something we can look at in the next episode. We also looked at a really weird getter, which is a function that returns another function. Um, these are called higher order functions, and there's a great video on that uh, by Fun Fun Function, which should be propping up here. If you know of a better way to do this for the getters, um, then please let me know. This this seemed like the, the best way at the time, but I understand that it's maybe a little bit confusing. We also looked at Array.Filter, so if you want to learn a little bit more about them, uh, you can click the video up here. As ever, this repo is publicly available. It'll be released on an episode three branch and tagged with an episode three release. So you can jump straight into this episode and pick up where we started and end where we left off. If you have any questions, contact me on Twitter at FrontendNE, raise an issue on GitLab, or drop a comment below. These episodes are released on the second and fourth Thursday of every month, making the next one the 25th of January. Do be sure you don't miss out. Please subscribe below. Thank you for watching. And remember, I hope...